Rakate Hawa, by Ashim Yavishai, by Ashim Kakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles, elder bishops, and brothers on Dung and Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole field leg. This is your brother, Raya Banyamian, here to share another lesson. This one would be called Ease Greed Has No Bounds. You know, as, um, you know, thinking about the financial situation, you know, and, and stuff in the world and in, in this country. And um, I happened to come upon this old article, which was, you know, ab- uh, pretty much two years old, you know, about, um, you know, ease greed, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to um, share a short article real quick, you know, about his um, his wickedness and how he is not, um, you know, satisfied. And what I'm about to read, you all will see it playing out in today's society so you know read the article um share a few scriptures and close it out so yeah, it's not going to be too long all right so the title it's like here the website is um dtss and it says who founded the title who founded capitalism it was published on um november 12th 2020 but you know, and it says, um, the Romans who founded capitalism are believed to spread it to European trading partners. They just amplified it. Um, they changed it uh, in a larger, various form and amplified it. Kind of like, um, you know, the scripture is how, you know, we would have um, servants and it's okay with the most high. But Esau take unto himself um, slaves, yeah, he would sleep with the slaves' wives, you know, their children, he would rape the men, rape the women, and so on and so forth. So he just amplified um, the form of capitalism. Uh, it says, um, the current economic downturn and suffering has been the product of capitalism. And this has made people think about who founded capitalism and when. Capitalism is believed to have existed before the Roman era, and there are evidence of it in cultures of China and India, pretty much the East. However, some economists believe that it was the Romans who founded capitalism and spread it to their trading partners in Europe and Middle East. The present day capitalism has lost all its purpose and meaning and it has been the cause of numerous economic and societal problems this is primarily because of the rich and powerful people who control the means of production and the entire market yeah this reminds me of um one time i was looking for is a particular lube or um that he used to like stick you know panels together and beside that major company um 3m it was hard to find any other company that was that was in competition with them to um you know to to sell it you know to and that's one of the way um we saw get rich by limiting you know competition by taking full control of um, of a market like it says here it says the government which is supposed to have very little Interf- interference favors these elite people by making laws and regulation that benefit the corporates and their elite owners in fact the united states government has passed laws that limit competition see so that it can benefit a few companies and their rich bosses it says this law has curtailed diversity And so people do not have many choices when it comes to products and pricing of these products are in the hands of the companies, thereby falsifying the market forces of supply and demand. You know, like I said before, I was looking for a particular um, loop, you know, grease sticks and panels together. And pretty much only 3M had it. And 3M one was expensive, was very expensive. And I couldn't find one that was... um, 
are much cheaper and even yeah i did find one that would that was a little bit cheaper like ten dollars cheaper but they were still under 3m but under another name you know what i'm saying so there was you know there's um you know a little um you know competition all right and the scriptures talk about you know esau's um insatiable uh habit in the book um habakkuk um chapter two and five it says, He also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlarged his desire as hell. He has an insatiable appetite and is as dead and cannot be satisfied. And that's a person with an insatiable appetite. But got it unto him all nations and keep it unto him all people. So he, he's a, is a, is a greedy individual, you know what I mean? You know, some people did be satisfied with certain riches and, you know, that's it. But with him, you know, he go, um, you know, he go further. We know, and it says, um, the principle of, of capitalism in today's market. It says, generation of capital through stock market is one of the founding principles of capitalism. Although the same principle is followed today, it has become highly diluted. Daily try to manipulate the stock market to make more money. Many Americans who still believe in the principles of capitalism and think that it is working perfectly invest money in stock market and end up losing a substantial chunk of it. If the people who founded capitalism were alive today, they would condemn these practices. I highly doubt that um, they just didn't you know, woke up the wiz the wizardry that Iso has um, conjured up, you know, for it to be as divisive and successful um, for him today. But the scriptures talk about, you know, the, the, you know, they don't sleep without doing wickedly. I think that's in um, uh, Proverbs chapter 4. And uh, somewhere down in, yeah, in 16, it says, For they sleep not, except they have, co have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause them to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. You know what I mean? So everything that, that they got, they got by uh, wickedness and exploitation. You know what I mean? You know, for the regular person, he sleep well after a hard days of work. The scriptures say, um, sleep is sweet to a laborious man. But they don't sleep until, you know, they bring about mischief, you know, upon people. And one of the ways they do it is by capitalism and the way they control the market. Uh, continuing on, it says, the people who founded capitalism would never have imagined that the idea will degenerate to such a level that causes more harm than good to people. The elite owners of the huge companies want to exercise constant control over the government and people. They control the government and its policies by bribing the officials in Washington. They pay money for the political campaign of the po of the po politicians apart from giving them money and gifts for their invaluable services. And the scripture says uh, a gift, you know, destroy the heart, you know, it also corrupts. They control the activities of the people by placing them under constant surveillance. They use closed circuit television, biometric analysis, fish recognition software, and other technology to keep the people in check. Uh, last paragraph it says under the veil of capitalism the e elite and powerful people are exploiting people in every possible way they have moved jobs to third world countries where labor is cheap so that they can make more profit as a result many americans are out of jobs and are struggling 
to make both ends meet now you know if you you look at um in the scriptures in leviticus they talk about you know leaving you know something behind uh for people Let's see if i could find that uh So Leviticus 19. Because they just, you know, take everything. So if they say, you know, leave something behind for people. Uh, okay, so here it is. Leviticus 19 and 9. It says, And when ye have reaped the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of the field, neither shall thou gather the gleanings of the field. I'm going to look up that... Um, that word gleaning clean <clears throat> says to gather by acquisition to scrape together especially greens left in the field after harvesting all right all right so you're not supposed to um pick everything uh, verse 10 and thou shalt not glean thy vineyard neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger i am the lord your god you know and as you see here you know he don't um you know leave anything especially you know with the job you know he, he even take that um and stuff too you know you know he he has his greed has no bounds man um continuing on it says one of the tenets of capitalism is mobility of labor where people have the choice to work for any employer by moving jobs to other countries the capitalists have effectively taken this choice away from people the ordinary people who are affected must learn to understand the true ideas of the people who founded capitalism and must take steps to eradicate this pseudo capitalism that existed. Like I said before, um, these so called European founders of capitalism, they just didn't have the mindset to, or the wizardry, you know, the method to taking it a step further. But um, the elite amongst um, the Soviet and the other nations have. Um, I've done that, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, like I was saying, um, one of the the things that I've seen in the society where they leave nothing, you know, for the poor. If you look at like, um, like a, a lot of these uh, restaurants, at the end of the day, they throw good fruits and vegetables, you know, and food in the bin behind the restaurant. There's no line, um, uh, behind the restaurant offering food to the homeless and the poor. You know what I mean that they can use. You know, like how it mentioned in um, Leviticus, ninety nine and ten. You know, leave um don't glean everything. You know, you know leave something after the harvest, but they don't um they don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Last portion of scripture I want to share is in um the book of Matthew twenty four and twenty two. And because of his greed and his wickedness, this is, you know, one of the things that, you know, we should look forward to, you know, is the shortening of these days. You know what I'm saying? Leviticus 24 and 22, it says, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know what I mean? So a lot of shortening these days is, you know, it's going by pretty quick. Because if it he shall continue in his wickedness, you know what I mean, ain't nobody gonna you know gonna survive, man. You know what I'm saying? So to worry how Bashim or Shabashim or Kakadash for so for shortening the days for the electric Lord willing, we are part of this number. Alright, so hopefully this lessons um was edifying on Esau's read, so pray for shorter days, pray for fewer days, alright, shalom.